Clink. What's up, people? My name's Tom from Dark Link Designs, and Chewy. this is my co-host, Chewy, Chewy. <laughs> from Les Geek Out, and we are the Geeky Drinkers. So our web show is all about geek drinks, geek culture, uh, we talk about cosplay, merch, movies, gaming. Everything you could imagine. Pretty much everything geek culture. Mm -hmm. um, and we do it every Thursday or every week, so stay tuned. This week, well, last, if you missed last episode, we talked all about uh, best and worst superhero movies and comic book movies. So if you haven't had a chance to check that out, absolutely check that out. It's a good time. Um, there's, let us know if you agree or disagree, because that's a, that's a hot topic. It is. It really is, because there's a lot of people that have their opinions. Like, for me, there's movies that you hated that I loved, and there's movies that I love that you hated. Absolutely. Simple as that. This episode, though, is all about Star Wars. Because Star the Wars Last is Jedi is about to come out, and yeah. a lot of people are pumped. I just finally watched The Force Awakens. <laughs> it's a I know, two years time. later, but I honestly, I'm, I'm an original Star Wars fan. So I have a question for you. Who's that? BB something. BB-8. I was close. Do you know who that is? Or what that is? Oh, I come on. I, uh, so, I would accept two answers. It's e well, technically three. It's either an AT-AT, or an ad -AT or an Imperial Walker. George Lucas says all are okay. So, but, like, as I said, for me... I made those, by I the way. Those are very um, old. Fashion. I know these guys... Yeah, those are things. absolutely... Yeah, yes, this yes. is just from, from Force Awakens. For me, when I saw this little guy here, I was kind of... So, what's his name? BB-8. There you go. <laughs> and he was kind of cool, but I'm an R2-D2 fan to the death. I, 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 I agree. I'm actually making my drink based off of R2-D2. Would you, I have a question for you. Yes. Would you be a Jedi or a Sith? I would be a Jedi because, um, especially recently, there's a whole bunch of talk about, like, the Grey Jedi, which isn't just good. It's basically, so if you go back into a lot of, like, Star Wars lore, the original, like, Jedi writings and, like, Jedi code, so to speak, like, the, like original, original documents, they actually, uh, I don't know, like, 100% details, but basically it's keep the balance. Mm -hmm. Like, keep the balance of the light. Like, there are going to be some times where you need to Ryan, kill people. Isn't that, uh, what's his face, uh, Rilo Ken or whatever? Kylo Ren? Kylo Ren, yeah. Uh, n it hasn't been completely dived over because he's more Sith as far as the end of Force Awakens. But That's I have... That's what I was going to say, I have, I've seen things. So. I have, uh, yeah, like, I have, there's a lot of theories going around right now. And, uh, especially for the, the new move, like, the two movie posters, like, the... So there's like the light side, like the, and then there's the dark side. Mark Hamill's in both of them. That's why I'm saying like definitely Jedi because it's more of a gray area. Mm -hmm. You kind of do what you need to do to keep balance. See, so I'm I would love to be. What able would, to yeah, what would you be? I Sith. would be Sith. The only reason why? is, um, in any aspect of any world, the bad characters, the mm -hmm. dark side of things, always lose. Is like what I love though. <laughs> I honestly love the dark side of everything. Even in Disney even, movies, for God's sake. Even though you're wearing Chewie. I don't wear Chewie. Because Chewie's like the least dark character ever. Okay. But you know what? Chewie is everything. I Chewie's love amazing. Chewie. And he's, he's actually, one of the few characters they kept in the newer ones. Yeah, it, yeah he's been... There's uh, there's him, there's R2-D2. Um, there, there's, there's a number of different characters. He's not the only one. There's a handful that have been and in all the movies. And there's one that can rest in peace. This is going to be, last, last Jedi is going to be her first, or her last movie. Eh? I know. The, the interesting thing, though, is that they actually had to rewrite and reshoot a lot of that mm -hmm. because of that. And, and it was I'm, weird. I'm, it was interesting. She passed away, and then her mom passed away a week like, later of a, you can die of a broken heart, people. There, yeah, there's, yeah, oh, that was so sad. 
Last year, 2017 was the, like, no, 2016. sorry, 2016. <laughs> 2017 is Not this over year. yet. 2016 was, like. It was awful it was for, t- like, celebrity deaths. Jesus, stop okay. dying, people. Like, Jesus. Use that money. And but, now there's a lot that have died this year that have kind of broken my heart, too. Adam West. Well, absolutely. Cried for, like, so long. So, I want to get into drinks. That's why I'm here. That's why you're here. I'm That's here, why you're I'm here. I'm here to rock Chewy. Where you rock, rock Chewy. Are you making a Chewy drink? Oh, you're getting the fan service, eh? <laughs> <laughs> no, I am not, actually. So but what, I am still making a good side. But you made first last time. So mm-hmm. I'm going to make first this time. Go right ahead. So I am making an R2-D2 inspired layered drink. He's going to fail you know, the layers. Did you know that <laughs> I actually ordered a, a bar spoon today? Oh, nice. So I'm excited about that, guys. I have, like, everything you can imagine for a bar set. I've got the strainer. I've got the mixer. I've got the everything. I just never take it out of my... One sec. I need my shaker. Because I get the shaky. Shaky, shaky. Where did I put it? It's right here. <laughs> I had it out for a reason. I literally have so, so much stuff for the bar scene because that's what I want to do with my legs. Do you have a like a an actual like spoon? Yeah. What the fuck would you bring that? Because I have a set no, in, a, I, in, no, a, like, que- in a suitcase. I never like to but, touch. But question though, like, is it the like the so the like the swirly like spoon that you use for like layer shots and stuff like that does when on the bottom like the so there's the spoon part and then there's like the handle mm-hmm. on the bottom of the handle is there the round part mm-hmm. like a ball no no no, not a ball like a like a flat like little disc oh no i have a ball <laughs> you got a ball i have two <laughs> so okay so i'm making um an r2d2 inspired drink i'm sweating so yeah this is <laughs> really warm she's gonna take it off for um, you guys, just for so, you guys. Just for them. So I'm making an R2-D2 inspired one. You got, you got, do you need ice, right? Yeah. Okay, so you're fine. So I'm going to be measuring out two ounces of blue curacao. The tasty stuff. The blue tasty stuff. I love that shit. I finally found peppermint schnapps. Do you and have I, it? No, I haven't bought it yet, but I, I know where to get it, and I'm so well, excited. Well, you can get it at the LCBO. Well, yeah, no, but... Where else would you get no, it? No, no, no. What I'm saying is some LCO, LCBOs don't, LCBO. care, <laughs> don't, don't carry it. So. Interesting. I found one on the Victoria Street in Wellington area. The King oh, yeah, Wellington. okay, yeah, yeah. So I'm pretty pumped. I'm going to go buy some because peppermint schnapps is... The shit. So good. So much better than peach. So... Ooh, mm-hmm. No way. So I have two ounces of blue curacao, and damn it, I did it wrong. My bad, guys. So I'm actually <laughs> that sucks. I'm actually <laughs> whatever. So it's just gonna be a little cooler. So you pour two ounces of your blue curacao. I really hope that doesn't change the look. That sucks. Whatever. So. You pour the two ounces of blue curacao. You really are in testing there. the layered shots. I, I, the layered drinks. I absolutely am. Oh my god, Phil. See, this is a lot. I freaking told you your shitty shitty sucks. Fine. M- mine exploded last time. Yeah, sorry. Who sucks? Mine's still in one piece. No, um, I'm saying my drink exploded so, last time. <laughs> yeah, it did. Plus, don't put carbonation in there. The dumbest. <laughs> That's just a bad time. I should have even realized that, like, when you were like, oh, yeah, pour... Uh, well, no, that was two episodes ago. Yeah. Um, you were like, yeah, let's just pour Mountain Dew. And I was just like, okay. And then, like, as you were shaking, I was just like, what have no! you done? <laughs> it didn't so, hit you until later. Yeah. So, uh, after the two ounces of Blue Curacao, uh, in, the, in your shaker, you do one ounce of Malibu Coconut Rum. Oh. Yeah, Malibu Black. No, and oh. you keep you keep hyping that, but I, I've never so had it before. It's so good, but it's so hard to find now. Just like my root beer sure vodka from it. Smirnoff. Well, that they don't make it anymore. You I, said. Yeah, because it was so dangerous. Uh, please make root beer flow vodka again, please. Come on, Smirnoff. Please, please, Smirnoff. And then, <laughs> I so, beg of you. So after that, there's two ounces of coconut milk. You actually measuring it? I, yes, I am, and you can suck it. Oh, if I have to. So, <laughs> wow. So, two ounces of coconut milk. Delicious. I love coconut milk. But 
Even and like everything else. Almond milk's great too. Kayla, it's time to shaky shaky. Shaky shaky shaky. I don't think I've actually ever shaky, used this shaky, on shaky, camera shaky, before. I have. I know. I know you have. So. That's the, that's the shaky shaky dance. I don't know. <laughs> I'm gonna make you do that every time from now on. <laughs> so, and then you carefully pour the silver. As I'm singing Mario. <laughs> that wasn't Mario. Mm -hmm. No. Yes. No. Yes. That's Mario. Yeah, that's what I was saying, you dick. Okay. Dick. It's not nearly as much. I'm gonna throw another ounce in. It still looks cool though. Of Blue Curacao. Oh, I. No, I'm not. I don't want. Actually, I, I'm going to when I mix it up. So, actually. You're yeah, actually getting pretty good layered shots. I know, right? I even, That's why I've been debating on like getting the spoon because I was just like, damn, like that's. That's good. It's that's so okay because there's no like mixing or anything in that, eh? Nah, that looks mm. sick. Tom rocks. <laughs> so, I was going to get, uh, I was actually at the grocery store earlier today, and I was looking for maraschino cherries, because I wanted to have, like, the light for mm -hmm. R2-D2, and just, like, have it as, like, a garnish. Mm -hmm. And they were all out. I could have got, like, a package of, like, glazed cherries for, like, ten bucks. But I was just like, those are baking cherries, they're gonna, like, they're not gonna taste nearly no. the same. So I was just like... Whatever. You gotta do it around cherry season, which is back in the Well, summer. no, no, no. Maraschino cherries. Like, they're they're available all the time. Well, che all cherries are. I'm just saying. Delicious. I like licking it, guys. So. <laughs> I'm with them on that one. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so, that is my R2-D2. And. See, mine doesn't look as cool. When. So, once it once you're once you're done and you're like, yeah, guys, look at this. Look at this. You're just like, so let's fuck it up. You can you can mix it around. Let's fuck it you up. You can mix it up. And I'm also gonna add uh, oh, no. an extra ounce of blue curacao because that's not really a huge drink. Mine's gonna be pretty big. <laughs> Is yours really? What do you? Oh, I'll ask you that in a second. So I'm gonna add one extra ounce. A blue um, 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 of blue curacao because it's delicious. It is. If you and, have a porn star, mm, mm, mm. And, you know what's funny? Mm. Have you never had a porn star? Is that what you're going to say? No. Never had a porn star shot? Uh, I no, I definitely, a, I definitely, I definitely. I bet you've never had a Paula fuck up because it's very authentic. Because the, the I bartender. I don't even know what you said there. Paula fuck up. Paula fuck up. It's by the bartender in Barrie that I used to go to this club at. Okay. And it's literally, it is Blue Steer Cow. Curacao. Whatever. Curacao. The um, red sourpuss and Red Bull. That's, that'd be pretty tasty. It is, but, but this... you're right, fucker. <laughs> no, 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 no. All right, so this is my R2-D2. What are you making, Kayla? So I originally wanted to make a float, but I forgot to buy ice cream. <laughs> so I'm instead of doing a Yoda soda float, I'm doing Yoda soda. Yoda soda. Yoda soda. So... And then replacing the, the ice cream, I'm adding some more alcohol, aka Never vanilla vodka. Smirnoff vanilla vodka, delicious. So I literally wanted to do a Yoda soda float, but I didn't get ice cream, so. No, you're good. So Yoda you're making, soda. You're making, you're making Yoda soda. So Yoda what's, what's in Yoda soda. soda? We've got two ounces of vanilla vodka. Mm-hmm. Delish. Well, that's way Can more. you laugh for some ice there? Uh, yeah. Oh, she's learning, guys. Learning. You made fun of me like that before. You were like, he's learning. Oh, that's when I started uh, just like not measuring my top. Yeah. <laughs> You're just like, he's learning, he's guys. He's learning. So there's two <laughs> ounces of vanilla vodka and an ounce of Barroker's lemon dry gin, which is like everything to me. You have to pour it with that on your head. Okay, here we go. I got this. If you spill or knock that off, you gotta finish the gin bottle. High stakes. Should I bumper? <laughs> oh, that was close. <laughs> the lid was on, so I'll accept that. But damn, why don't you sit? Damn, that was close. 
So there's that, and You'd then be, like, you would have to go to the hospital. Yeah, <laughs> that would be a hospital trip, guys. And then topping it off, live in the hospital. Topping it off <laughs> with Mountain Dew because it's green. Now I was hoping it'd be greener, but okay. it's kind of looks more like piss. No, if <laughs> you piss like that, I'd be concerned. <laughs> I'd be very concerned. And there's your Yoda soda. I like how it's like still spinning. That's great. All right, cheers, lady. Mmm. Oh, that's nice. Mhm. Mm mm -hmm. That's really, really tasty. I'm really drunk when I leave here. Yeah. It's good. Mine's really smooth. Yours is really good. Yeah, your gin's like. It's there, but it's not. Yeah, it's not prominent at all. That's that's really nice. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you don't really taste alcohol in that. Like, you taste, like, a little bit, but it just tastes like a splash. That's really good. When I move into my new place, I'm going to be making Joker all the time. <laughs> don't become an alcoholic. <laughs> that would be bad. But Yoda Soda's not bad either. Yeah, that's that's actually pretty tasty. I like yours, but I also like coconut milk, so it doesn't help. Coconut milk's good. It's expensive though. It is. I drink all the milk and it's even expensive. You know what? I, I, well, yeah, it's basically the, yeah, it's similar. I just drink regular milk. Almond butter is like 15 bucks for a jar this big. And like, that's... Go to Bulk Barn. I Almond love... butter's cheap. Is it? Mm -hmm. Well, like, not cheap, but cheaper. But anyway, Star all the Wars. All stuff is. <laughs> so, okay, so what's, okay, we're, we're just focusing on just the movies because there's a whole other, like, there's a whole Games, other universe. TV, everything. Not even just that, but like books. Like the books go so much more into the yeah. lore. So this episode, we're just focusing on just the movies. Mm -hmm. What is your favorite movie uh, for the Star Wars series? Phantom Menace. I know. I already told her that she's going to get like super hate for that. I already told her, but... I love why... Jar Jar Binks! <laughs> get What's out. the reason no, saying? No. <laughs> get out. Oh... You guys know Jar Jar's the worst, right? The worst. I as a, You can come back. I was telling people, it's funny because I swear to God, <sighs> Luke, like Lucas was created him while he was doing drugs. <laughs> he had to. <laughs> but so, I okay. honestly love Jar Jar Binks. Okay, so so okay, so you so your favorite Star Wars is like older versions uh, no the the middle one because there's the like the original actually, trilogy and then like the but see one the new phantom -ish. menace is actually number four well in in the release order but in see, the story how I see in the storyline in the storyline though it would go phantom menace first mm -hmm. so it'd go like but, phantom menace attack of the clones revenge of the sith a new hope empire strikes back return of the jedi and then force awakens and then the new yeah. one coming out last jedi and there's Rogue One as well. Well, Rogue One's uh, like a, a prequel to A New Hope. It basically lets everybody know how they get the Death Star plans and who is but sacrificed see, for and everything. Me, what? Okay, so you've seen... So you've... Have you, I've seen it up to Force Awakens. It. Have you seen all the Star Wars movies? Not Rogue One and not the newest one, though. Newest one's Force Awakens. Well, the, the newest... Last Jedi, I haven't seen it. Obviously. Well, that's, it's not out yet. Yeah. So you've seen... Okay, so you've seen... So other than Rogue One, you've seen... But see, I like the... I like the storyline of, of, of Anakin what? becoming like Darth Vader. I don't know why. It just it, it <clears throat> speaks to me. You know, daddy issues. Call me a freaking typical white Doesn't girl. Doesn't have a dad though. Yeah, but what I'm saying is, also Luke gets to me because he has daddy issues. I guess. I don't. Know. I could. I could talk about Star Wars all day. Okay, so. Your so your favorite's Phantom Menace, which is crazy. But one thing that one thing that I actually loved, actually, you know, what's really funny though is that um, Revenge of the Sith didn't come out till years later. Well, yeah, that's because yeah, because there was years in between. Mm. But for okay, so funny story about uh, Phantom Menace. So when it came out, it was around the same time that the N sixty four was was out. And when I got my N64, like, bundle, it actually came with the episode one pod racing. Nice. As that. So, that, so, I always liked the pod racing, and that game was actually super, super I fun. I had a PC That was kind of super, version super of fun. I had a PC version of um, a Star Wars game. Yeah. And it was, it had, like, Jar Jar Binks, and it was meant to, I well, was there's really a, young, there's it was a meant whole, to, yeah, but there's a whole bunch of Star Wars me. games. It was so. meant to teach kids how to, like, 
<laughs> all this Use thing. the force. <laughs> Okay, so your favorite was Phantom Menace. Mm. You're crazy for that, but that's okay. Um, so mine, it's it's actually kind of a toss up. So for mine, probably A New Hope, just because I've seen it way more than the rest, and that was just because it was on TV the most. And it's usually the one that's on TV. That one is Phantom Menace. No, it's Phantom Menace. No. Yeah, so no. it would be several times. No. My mom owns no all of like uh the original stars. I'm not talking well, about yeah. the newer ones. On VHS. So <laughs> Okay, so well that's another thing that I want to talk about is like all the the re releases and the re edits and blah 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 blah. But uh I'm sweaty. So mine is actually a top my favorite ones are a toss up between a new hope and Force Awakens. Because the Force Awakens was so fucking well done they did such a good job who bought they, out lucas films disney well, that's what i thought yeah okay so they did such a great job on like sprinkling enough nostalgia in there and like enough of like the star yeah, wars references had, face, um, and but it had like even just the way even even just the way that the like the non like the basically the side characters and stuff like i'm thinking when Ray is saving BB-8. So there's a character who's riding, like, a, a guy. I can't remember the name. I'm sorry, guys. But he's riding... He's, like, riding a, a creature. And Ray saves BB-8. And then the creature, like, walks away. It still has that kind of, like, stumbly animation style that the first ones had. Yes. The first, like, obviously, like, it's done in CGI and everything like that. But you could tell that that was very, very intentional. Because they wanted to stay along with the integrity of the films... Because episodes one, two, and three veered so far away from that, even though it was still Lucas Films mm -hmm. or Lucas Arts, even though they still own that, yes, it was still in the Star Wars universe, but it was very like fans hated it. Mm -hmm. But one thing that a lot of people don't know is even from the get go, George Lucas wanted to do a trilogy of trilogies. Mm -hmm. So so and that's why they've been spread out over what, 30 years now? 35 years Yeah, because my mom now? watched it when she was younger and she's that's what it, Yeah, that's what I mean. Like, they've been spread out and they're still going on. Yeah. So, I mean, the like, marketing-wise, fucking brilliant. Because there's Star Wars stuff everywhere. All the time. Even when they're not, they're not Star really Wars funny. stuff around. The stuff that I that draws me is the Excuse older me. stuff. You know, like Chewie and Yoda. Yeah, like the, the, and like like the classic characters. The classic yeah. characters. That's why when I watched Force Awakens, I was so happy to see Harrison Ford and Carrie Fisher back at it. Oh, absolutely. Like, I was happy. Yes, it was them older, and may she rest in peace. Of course. But it was just, I was so happy. Like, you know what I mean? Like, it was like nostalgia well, and, feeling and all inside. All in the boobs. <laughs> all in the boobies. Man, fan service all the time, like last two episodes. <laughs> um, but no, no, the, and, and I think a lot of that was very, again, like very, very intentional by Disney mm -hmm. to say like, we know what Star Wars fans want. Let's give that to them kind of in in enough of a dose. And I like the whole saying, and I know this is like cliche and people are like, oh, you probably heard it, whatever. I like the whole, I love you and I know. Oh, of I course. Do. It's I classic. do. It's, it's classic. because, you know what, when you know, when you're with someone for so long or love someone for that long, they, they just know. What was the first Star Wars movie you've ever seen? Phantom Menace. Do you think that's why it's, your top I think favorite. it's a nostalgia type of feel. Mm, okay. I really do. Um, but it's also the one that I've watched the most. Really? Mm -hmm. Wow. But I don't know. I liked Jar Jar. I really do. <laughs> I know. I, I just... I just. He was so <laughs> fucking annoying. He was such an annoying character. But I'm annoying. He, yeah, but he was... He screwed up so much. I don't know. Like, I just... I guess he kind of redeemed himself it, again, I compared but... to him. I'm annoying. I screw up all the time. It just <sighs> works. But I don't know. Trust me, I would rather co-host with you than Jar Jar Binks. <laughs> I, I would... There would be no show if Jar Jar was on. Just saying. I don't know. But I think that's the reason it's probably my number okay, one. Okay, so, so... Okay, so did you... Now, after that, what was the... Like, what was kind of the order that you saw Star Wars in? I... Okay, so... My mom always believed... And it's true. I do. I love my <laughs> okay. mommy. You know what? Everyone should love their mother. Yeah, that is true. Um, but Phantom Menace, Attack of Clones, Revenge of Sith were technically four, five, and six. 
Yeah. In her mm, books. They were episode... Four, five, and six. Wait, sorry, what? <laughs> you said Phantom, like the... So the Phantom Ma- Menace would be four. They, no, in the release order, they were four, five, six. Yes. In trilogy... In, in trilogy, they're one, two, and three. Sequential order, it's they're, one, they're two, not. And three. They're one, two, but, three. like, my mom always did that way. So, I've seen Phantom Menace, I watched Attack of the Clones, Revenge of the Sith, mm. and then I watched A New Hope, Empire. And really? Empire. Okay, so what do you think of the, like, A New Hope, like, Empire? And it was everything? different. I'm a Stormtrooper lover. So yeah, anything that's, like, they're in everything. Yes, yeah. exactly. So, but I see it well, as, no for me, I was more or less following the line of Anakin Skywalker. His story. Well, the and whole everything. star, the whole yeah, Star yeah. Wars story is based around one, go like one royal family that's and what I'm their saying. fucking but problems. But for me, I like that cro- that span the galaxy and the universe. Yes, but so, I liked his story, and I followed it. It's like. If I watch any TV show, there's always one thing. Like when I watch Friends, I wa- I literally followed Rachel, Rachel and Ross. Okay. That's it. I didn't care about anybody else. Okay. It's just so okay. So, like for for me, funny enough, the the first uh, the first Star Wars I ever saw was on TV when my dad was watching it, and it was Return. Uh, no, it was Empire Strikes Back. Because I was just like, I, I kind of like came in and it was like halfway through and, um, and I was just like, what is this? <laughs> and my dad's like, it's like Star Wars or something. And I was just That's like, just yeah, like he, he was just, just like, like, it's, it's on TV and whatever. And like by, by all means, not a Star Wars buff at all. No. So I was just like, just like mesmerized. I was like sucked in, but I was just like. I, like, I was still little, so I didn't know, like, you were know what was going on, but yeah, I was just like, visually, ones. this is awesome. <laughs> so, Do you literally then, watch the old ones to the new ones? The oh, graphics, absolutely. the visual effects well, are so, it, like... Of course, though. Well, yeah, because but... Because you have to like, remember, like, when the original okay, ones were made. You know what's hilarious? I'm going to tell this right now. After seeing old Star Wars, before I watched the new ones, I was in love with Spaceballs. Well, <laughs> okay, did you see Spaceballs before or after you watched Star Wars, though? The, the, like, the a new whole, yeah, like, yeah, a new after, vampire. And after. Okay, so, okay, so you got, so you got, yeah, like, all the references. all the references. Right? When they're combing through the sand. <laughs> <laughs> we ain't found shit. <laughs> yeah, amazing. You guys gotta watch Spaceballs. And honestly, I have noticed. Most like, of you probably have seen Spaceballs. But balls. if you watch movies that are parodies of movies you love, it's just it, great. It's uh, just great. No, it, it depends. Like, some are fucking awful. Some are awful. Spaceballs though is really really good because it ha- it did kind of have like Rick Moranis, I love you, <laughs> He's a hoser. Strange Brew, fucking hilarious. <laughs> I love that movie. That's so good. He's he's such a good actor. But he actually literally let go of the limelight to raise his kid. Yeah, yeah, I know. Yeah, which, which is smart. which is awesome. Yeah. yeah. Well, I smart. Yeah, like was, it, it makes sense. Wait, for his wasn't kids. he in um, Honey, Honey and Shrunk the Kids? Yeah. yeah so, but was he in the second one? Yeah, he's in all of them. Oh, Damn, it's drink up, lady. When I think so, of Tiny Sharks Kid, I think Okay, Robert. so what's your... Okay, so for the, the new Star Wars... Like the, when I say like new Star Wars... Because I'll say like original, middle, and new. Mm-hmm. So like original are like New Hope, Return of the Jedi... Or uh, Empire Strikes Back, and Return of the Jedi. Like middle ones are going to be uh, Phantom Menace, Attack of the Clones, and Revenge of the Sith. New ones are going to be... Um, like Force Awakens and Rogue Return of the One. Jedi and then whatever. No, because Rogue One is before. I know, a new but Hulk. it's a newer it's, one. It's produced newer, but is it, it's wait. Is Ray in Rogue One? No, none of it none of make sense. No, none know. of none of the characters. No, well, none I of the saw, none of the main characters from Rogue One are I've in any of the other ones. Four, okay, so I've seen some theories about Ray's re, the reason. Ray's parents. Yeah, who she. Yes. Okay. And what, I, I, I want to hear yours because I I've okay. heard. A lot I've as seen well. a lot that she is related to the Skywalkers and or sorry, not Skywalkers, Ky, uh, Kylo Ren. In some okay. ways that she is. Okay. Like so, who would be so who would be her parents if you're speculating? Well, Kylo Ren is supposed to be son of uh, Luke and. Um, no, not Luke. It's. Uh, That's, I'm just reading theories. Mysterious. Kylo Ren? Yeah. No, he's the son of Leia and Han Solo. 
Okay. It says that very, very plainly. Okay. Like, so that's that's how that went. See, but so like, I've, I watch these movies, and I'm a sci-fi fan, but there's certain things I miss, and there's certain things I picked up. Yeah, you gotta watch it. You, you gotta, watch, gotta it. watch it again. You really, again. really, you can't watch Star Wars too many times, ever. So the it's like me with Batman. <laughs> so what have you what have you heard about Ray's parents? All I know is that she is supposed to be the daughter of a Sith and a Jedi. That's what I've read. How would that work? I'm not entirely sure, to be honest. But that's like I've read a bunch of theories. I re I like theories. I like what what people. Yeah, no, no, I I, I, I definitely agree because it gets it gets your brain thinking. Exactly. There's, there's a bunch of theories about a, a bunch of other movies and characters that I've watched. But okay. for me, she's supposed to be the daughter of a Jedi and a Sith. Okay, so the so who do you so what do you think her last name is, or do you not know? Um, I want to say. Skywalker, but I think it's I'm wrong. Gonna, yeah, it's not going to be that. See, I've actually, I've come across a lot where uh, it's Ray Kenobi. So mm. it would be like, but the, Obi -Wan. but, but, this, but the, the line, like there, there's a whole bunch of Star Wars, like theories and everything on like Rey. that. Like, like so on, many. yeah, just on Ray. And on Kylo too. And well, way more on Ray because it's more unknown. Kylo Ren has a little bit of a backstory. Yeah, but people, Rey doesn't. Rey just knows that her fam she's waiting for her family on um Oh my god. What the fuck is the planet? Jakku. So uh, see, <laughs> I'm just trying to think of like of Finn being like, why does everybody want to go back to Jakku? Fucking <laughs> hilarious. No, the, okay, so, yeah, so that's, that's what I, I don't want to dive anymore into that theory and that, because that, that, a lot of that's going to be cleared up in Last Jedi, which I, which I think so. I'm, I'm really excited to see, um, and I'm happy that you said that I don't have to see Rogue One before Yeah, this, you definitely so. don't. Okay. Okay. It just, it basically gives you, and the nice part about that movie is that it doesn't have anything to do with the Skywalker family lineage or anything. It's just the resistance, excuse me, getting the plans to destroy the Death Star, which is really great. Um, damn, time's going by really fast. So we might actually have to split this into like two or three episodes of... Star Wars stuff because like I could talk for hours. Or even like I could talk for in general. I could talk for well see like I, I would want to have like specific ones because sci fi is so broad. So broad. Watch there's, Farscape. There's no mm -hmm. there's no way that we could fit like a sci fi episode into one. I don't I don't no. it, it would be way too I condensed. Love sci -fi. I would I would be pissed off at the episode. But for new ones at least excuse me, I'm really really excited to see what the last jedi does because the lot like the the ending scene of force awakens is basically ray like offering to give luke his lightsaber back mm -hmm. like his lightsaber back yeah and then it's just like where does it go from there mm -hmm. which oh it's i think of the last jedi and think it's like when i hear the title i think seth is taking over no see there <sighs> Okay, I'm gonna. I'll all. We're gonna. We're, we'll debate that on a different episode because there's so much that I've read into that. On, See, I and, literally and, but, am so into the originals that. But but this but that kind of circles back to like the gray Jedi. Okay. So if you guys are interested, check out like just do like a Google or a YouTube search of the gray Jedi, and you'll have like tons of results, and you'll find out what I'm talking about if you're not familiar with it already. Um. Damn, we might have to have like an episode like per movie, because it's so it's so good, and I don't want to like the unfortunate part is like we are kind of running out of time. Mm -hmm. Um, okay, so what's your what's your favorite character from Star Wars? I want to do like basic like rapid fire questions, and then we'll go. Favorite from character. Overall favorite character. Okay, I can't think of his name. I can probably tell you who. Yeah, uh, flying blue guy. In the originals, he sells a lot of junk. Oh, um... See? See? Uh, it's no, 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 like, I, I, I know who it is. Cause he, he I was, love him. Because he owns... Um, but if you want He to, owns Anakin and his mom. But if you want right? to be technical... Chewy. This is my favorite. Chewy. Okay. I love my Chewy. 
I what love, you, okay, I'm a so, Chewbacca pillow, so, for fuck's sake. Okay, so what do you what do you like about Chewie? Why is he like one of your favorite characters? He's so innocent, first of all. No, he's not. Okay, listen, listen. He's innocent, but he's badass as fuck. Oh, well, of course. Okay. The and majority of Star Wars characters to are. To me, though. he doesn't have lots to say. But when mm, exactly. I can't do it, Chewie. I'm sorry, guys. But how to me, I don't know, I just like big fluffy characters. Do you like furries? What, like sexual furries? <laughs> I think that's always where people's minds are. No, just, just like, uh, like, whatever. That's a different <laughs> Like, I have a Chewbacca pillow that matches my onesie. Okay. And. So what do you, okay, so what do you, what do you like about Chewie other than he's big and fluffy? I don't know. Bad. I just, I like the fact that he is so, not generic, but you can have him in almost every single episode he is in, of the movie. Like, almost every movie. Yeah, but you can almost have him and movie. he's, he. Because of the character he is, he pro- he can live for so long. He doesn't I have guess. to, like, you know, end his reign. What's your least favorite character? And then I'll tell you mine. Oh my god, okay, so there was someone that ties with, che- with Chewie. The what? There's someone who ties with Chewie. Okay. Darth Maul. Even though you he died. You didn't like him. No, I do. I no, love... no, I'm, sa- I'm saying... Oh, no, I'm saying, I don't like... like who's your... You know what's really funny? So the character... He only that, died in the first the character, the character that plays Darth Maul, he's actually the only character in cinematic history to kill Liam Neeson. Huh? So, okay, so who's your who's your least favorite Star Wars character? Least, least. Hmm. Da-da-da. That's a hard one. Who annoys you the most? Who are just like off the screen? Time I- Amidala. Really? <laughs> Why? What? I hate the actress. You don't like no. Natalie Portman? No. What? I watched her in so Thor. Hot. Didn't like her in Thor either. She's so hot. But I just. She, I know she was like some badass, trying to be some badass woman, but she was still so. She's trying to protect herself and like save her, like save millions of people. I know, but I just didn't. I guess. It, Look at that blue. Like I said, I am into acting and stuff, so the acting version of it, I didn't like. Okay. Uh, my. I'll start with my least favorite character. Um, probably Jar Jar Binks. I love Jar Jar. I. I hate his character. I love Jar Jar so much. Can't, can't stand him. Um, probably my favorite... Uh, no, e- easily. My favorite character is R2-D2. Like, I love R2-D2. Easily R2-D2. I love him. I just... He's so sassy. And did you know that every single line of his has had to been bleeped out? Yeah, and did you know the guy who played him passed away? Oh, yeah. Do you know why all of his lines are bleeped out? Because he's a droid. Because he's a ha! droid. Ha! Star Wars joke. Ha! So those are so that's C three PO. I like too. C three PO is all right. Um, I I'm gonna tell I you right now. I always had my reservations like, on him. Like he he was an all right. He his character suited well. What's your What's the cutest character in the Star Wars universe that you think? Ewok. Ewoks. No. What are they called? The Sand People, isn't that Ewoks? Yeah, it's Ewoks. Yeah, yeah. I love I this Durfo. So. Yeah, they oh my God. are. It's like Togepi and you, Pokemon. <laughs> <laughs> have you seen? So in the the new ones, there's a character called Porgs. They're kind of they kind of look like a like a fluffy like little penguin kind of thing. Yeah. Have you ever seen those? What yeah. do you think of those? Yeah, they're not Ewoks. I'm. I, I agree. They're, they're not definitely not Ewoks. They're not Sand People. <laughs> Would you? Whose lightsaber would you want to have? Okay, so I think it's Kylo Ren who has the double sided and the one, right? Like the so from the hilt has like the well, up. There's two going this way. Yeah, that's Kylo Ren's. Up. Yeah, that one. That or Darth Maul's, which the, the double sided. Yeah, that was badass. I love the Darth Maul double sided. Honestly, that's probably my number one. Then Kylo Ren. Honestly, if I was in the Star Wars universe, I would definitely take this side. I don't even give a fuck. Okay, I am a Sith Lord. So, okay. All right, fair enough. Mm-hmm. I I don't know whose I would want to have. Is, is Yoda's probably... green? Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. That's absolutely. what I thought. But, his, but see, that's the thing. Like, all, like, all, they're all proportioned to them. 
Mm-hmm. So like Yoda's, like if I were to hold it, it would probably only be like that big. Okay, so they didn't be... include Yoda in the new ones. I know that. Like they did, but they didn't. No, it's because he died. Yeah. He died at the uh, the end of Return of the Jedi, if I'm not mistaken. Either he that one or Return Empire. Of Sith. Huh? I thought he was in the Return of the Sith. Yeah, but you have to remember that that was right beforehand. Ugh. So he, yeah, so Yoda is like a, in like spirit form. Um, I, I would, okay, really, really, really quickly. So have you heard that they're doing uh, standalone movies on like certain characters? So they're doing like a, yeah. Han Solo is the one. Uh, I don't know. I actually don't know if they're doing I'm a standalone honestly, I've Solo. seen, no, they are. They want to. And I've I, seen a couple guys that I could play young, it's young Han Solo. I have seen, and excuse I'm, me, I have seen those, but I don't know if it's confirmed. The confirmed ones that have been so far is uh, Boba Fett is going to be getting his own movie, which would be fucking awesome because he's such an underrated character. He is, and like there's, there's, don't get me wrong, like there's a lot of love for Boba Fett. I love Boba, Fett. but he doesn't have a lot of screen time. Mm-hmm. Um, so I want to see a Darth Maul. Uh, kinda... That's actually another one that a lot of people would really like. I to want to see a Darth Maul. Um, but there's. Uh, so there's Boba Fett that's getting his own standalone. Um, I believe they're, they've confirmed that Yoda's going to be getting a standalone. I want to see a Chewie. And Chewie want... probably wouldn't because he doesn't... Uh, unfortunately, he doesn't speak English. So but it would prob- be interesting to see where he came from. And... It, it, it would be, but the, he, there would be a lot of supporting cast characters to be like, Oh, yeah, Chewie, that's a good idea. Let's go and you know yeah. translate for whatever it is. So I think that would kind of limit it to a degree um so you would want to see a standalone movie for darth maul who would you want to see on the the light side of things and then i'll let you know mine and then we should probably wrap up Hmm. well like yoda would be interesting Mm -hmm. it would be very interesting but if i had to pick (laughs) shit it's tough eh it is. Okay, so... But Obi-Wan. I want to see his entire life stories. Okay, so like... Er, okay, so like... Young Obi-Wan. Okay. When right. he started to realize he was a Jedi. Well, I was probably really young. So, okay, so for for me... Um, What's for, the... I have a quick question. What's yeah. the um, colored guy in the originals? What do you... Who? What do you mean? The, like, the black bald guy is played by... Not Samuel L. Jackson. Yeah. In the Attack of the Clones? Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's Samuel Jackson. That's what I thought. Mm-hmm. You'd want to see. Um, Mace Windu. Yeah, it'd be interesting. I know he betrays be cool. and shit, but... Uh, well, I would... Okay, so for... I'd love to see C-3PO and R2-D2 from, like, the beginning. Well, R2-D2... That's... Yeah. Well, no, C-3PO is in, like, Phantom, Mas- Phantom Menace yeah, and yeah, Beyond. Yeah, no, but Anakin what I'm saying those. is, like... Like, R2-D2? Yeah. Bangs? You got like a little one pull right it. there. Pull it. Pull you it. You want me to pull it? Pull it. Thank you. There you go. Uh, Pulling my hair so doesn't do shit. Standalone, <laughs> so standalone ones. So Sith side, I would. Darth Maul. I agree. Like Darth, Darth Maul, hundred percent. I would love I to see to his backstory. See and there's so many. There, there's so many people that would love the same. If I were to get um, like a Jedi side. I want to see Obi Wan. I'm not kidding. I really want to see. I know it's Ewan McGregor in the originals. Which yeah, he did really a great job. Interesting. But see, it's not the original. Have you seen it's the, the middle it's, it's interesting. No, I haven't seen that. But like, I want to see a, a like that. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? The beginning of like how I, he got where he was. Well, you, you or know what? Yoda like, would be nice. Well, I was gonna say like probably Yoda, which is gonna like actually come to reality. Which I is want great. to see how he became the greatest. I just want to see like how old Yoda is. I want to see his how old do like, you think he is? His call thousands of years. Well, he I, is. I, I what want, is he again? That's the thing. I don't know offhand. Yeah. I'm sure, I'm sure, like, his, Do you like, know races, what Yoda is? Please let us know. Or do a Wikipedia search, because mm-hmm. it's probably on there as well. But I'm, I'm super excited for, for that one. Mm-hmm. What's your... We'll do this, and then, and then we will actually wrap up. <laughs> I know I'm saying that for a little bit. What's your, what's your favorite ship? Okay. Hmm. Now, this o- might overall, say, this overall, might any, sound any cliche, but I do like the Death Star. Okay, okay. Okay? And as much Why? as that, like, I don't know. I just, like, as I said, I like death. I like darkness. I like all of that stuff. Okay. You want to blow a planet? Fuck yeah, I'm there kind of thing. 
Okay. You know what I mean? And a lot of people are like, oh, you like Death Star. You've never seen Star Wars. Bitch, I've seen Star Wars. Who I just love that? Death Star. Okay. I just feel like, I know it gets blown up or whatever, but like. Yeah, I or honestly, whatever it does. <laughs> yeah, Twice. but I personally love the Death Star. Okay. I do. I do. My, my favorite would probably be. Are you an X-Wing fan? No, You're not I an well, like I don't get me wrong. Like I love the X Wing. I love the Millennium Falcon. I I do really like Poe's X Wing in Force Awakens. Um, that one's really cool. I like just how it's different colors and stuff. But probably my favorite ship would probably be a Naboo fighter from, uh, like Episode One. Okay. Like Phantom Menace, mm -hmm. and I think I think a lot of that is because when I was really little, I got a Lego set of the <laughs> Naboo fighter, and it had. Uh, it was my first Lego set that had R two D two in it, nice. so I was just like, "Yes, like mini R two D 2 I was like, "Fuck yeah!" R two D two. I was so everything. excited. Yes. Um, but yeah, so I think with that we should uh, we should wrap up. So, with that, cheers. Stay geeky, friends, and we will see you next week.